Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to add together two fractions that have the same denominator. We're going to be adding six sevenths plus two sevenths. Now, whenever you're adding fractions, you want to check and make sure that the two fractions have the same denominator or bottom number before you add them. In this case, they both have seven as their denominator, so we are ready to add them. We're going to keep seven as the denominator for these two fractions. We're not going to add those two numbers together. We're not going to add seven plus seven. And the reason we're not going to do that is because the size of the pieces that we're adding together has not changed. But what we are going to do is we're going to add the two numerators together. Six plus two equals eight. So if you have six sevenths and then you add another two sevenths to that, in total, you would have eight sevenths. Now, this answer is what we call an improper fraction. That means that the numerator is greater than the denominator, and that tells us that what we have is a whole number plus another fraction piece. So we're going to turn 8 sevenths into a mixed number. Now, the most straightforward way to do this that will work for any improper fraction is if we use division to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top number in the numerator and put it inside a division bracket. Then I'm going to take the bottom number or the denominator and put it outside. So what I'm going to do to figure out what this is as a mixed number is I'm going to take 8 and divide it by 7. 7 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. And when I subtract these two, I get 1 left over. Here's how it becomes a mixed number. So the number up here on the top that we got as our answer becomes the whole number. So since 7 went into 8 one time, we know that we could take one whole out of 8 sevenths. The remainder down here is what we would have left over if we took 7 sevenths away from 8 sevenths. We'd have 1 seventh left over. So that's going to become the numerator. Now the denominator would stay the same. It would stay as 7. You could either get it from your original fraction or you could get it from the outside of your division. So 8 sevenths when turned into a mixed number, becomes 1 and 1 seventh. Both of these answers are correct for the problem. However, the second one is more simplified than the first one. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.